Fine evening in Starkville, Mississippi. Tonight at News Park, Mississippi State welcomes the Florida Gators, winners of eight straight who bring in one of the nation's most dangerous offenses. Um, and poised. She's an aggressive arm. She's going to challenge hitters early. She's not afraid to hammer the strike zone early in counts. You see the off speed there. That's going to be the go to pitch. And a Another notable one that they struggled against in a 3-0 loss to Oklahoma State was Lexi Kilfoyle. Oh, and I got Wallace. You could hear that pop. Once, not twice, but three times in a weekend. There goes Wallace and safe at second. A confused look from Kylie Edwards. Last year, Pal Egan coming in. She graduated, but she was a nice addition. This is into right field, and it falls. Wallace coming around. She will score. Somewhat of a bloop single to right field for Jocelyn Erickson for her 43rd RBI of the season. You go back to the importance of that stolen base from Skylar Wallace. This one's up in the zone, a rise ball that's just a little bit slower than Wesley's true fastball. You got a sun ball here. And this is just one of them. run across so far. Walsh slaps this right side. It gets into the outfield. Erickson around a third, and then a runner advances to second on the throw. Battle like this. I think what you're describing is momentum, and I don't know that there is a more potent but yet intangible essence of our game then momentum and Aspen Big pitch from Wesley got it right pitch for Florida gone so what's he do he brings in two National Gatorade player of the years another super talented freshman in Olivia Miller who was a late extra inning softball also a talented basketball player in high school oh two slowly hit to Wallace and there's two outs Two two from Rothrock. Got her swinging. Two strikeouts for Keegan Rothrock and a. O two. Hit hard into right field and gone. That got out of here in a hurry. For the freshman Ava Brown, her sixth home run of the season. This is quick adjustments, right? The lead off of an inning, you see an entire inning in front of you, the type of pitches, the situations that you may be hitting in in certain counts. You take that information and you use it. That's a ball up and away for Ava Brown. She sees the ball deep. She hits it where it's thrown. Pitching circle. He said, that was why I struggled so much in the portal to gain some support for the staff. Into right field, a diving catch by Paige Cook in right field. Tim Walton's turned him loose this year. 73 stolen bases on 78 attempts. This has popped up and trying to track it down is Wesolowski. In a two strike count against this arm. Slap left side, nice play over at third for out number three. Barbary takes care of the leadoff hitter, Kendra Falby. Rolls this season for the team. Popped up on the infield and taken care of by Kowalewski over at third base for out number one. You will not outwork this young woman. 0-2, got her swing, and Rothrock blows it past Blaine. That's the third strikeout for the freshman. The explosion we've seen this year is wild. In the air to center field. That's caught out there by Falby, and quick 1-2-3 inning for Keegan Rothrock in Florida, who lead by two. Three zero. 0 Misses for ball four to Skylar Wallace. So a hit by pitch and a walk for the reigning SEC player of the year. So at Oklahoma, she said, it is just really challenging my brain to move quick. 
Slap to the right side, taken care of over there at second base. Corner. One, two. Hit hard into right field and over the top of Cook and off the wall. Erickson headed for second base. And it's a two out double for Jocelyn Erickson. Her Pitch. That's the advantage of his three speed arm. Hit hard left side and squeaks through the five six hole. Went off the glove of Barbary. When the dogs in Mississippi State, she didn't miss the chance. Ground ball right side taken care of over at first by Madison Kennedy to limit the damage to third one is another freshman, Olivia Miller, who's been really good. 3-0 with a 1.85 ERA, was originally committed to Ole Miss before announcing a change in August as Skylar Wallace runs this down at shortstop for the first out. Situations as they approach the latter half of SEC play, postseason. Hit well in the left field and deep, gone! A big time swing for the freshman Salen Hawkins to put Mississippi State on the board. Her third home run of the season. And now is homered in back-to-back -back games. Talking so much about freshman impact, Salen Hawkins wanted to enter the chat and she does. A no doubter almost hits the camera. Whole side of the field. Such a fun athlete. What she's been able to do here. Just the 22nd run allowed in her 20th appearance. She gets the outside corner for strike three. O2 slapped into left field. Great piece of hitting there from Sacco at the top of the Bulldogs order. They've got a two out base runner. Just for the Wildcats to go to Oklahoma City. 2-2. Two -two. Into right center field and down at the wall. And Mississippi State is gonna tie this thing in the third. Nadia Barbary coming through big. Asked what I wanted to see, it's been that pitch. Kennedy gets into one, first pitch, see you later. Madison Kennedy does it again, number 13 on the season. And Mississippi State has the lead. Unbelievable. You just can't miss against a team like Mississippi State. Even more against a bat like Madison Kennedy. The hero of this team, the leader of this team, the deepest part of this field, her power alley, pull side. See you later. The dogs take control of this ball game and now have two outs. Popped up shallow center field, Mia Williams over, but Wallace takes control. How about Mississippi State though? We'll hear from Sam Ricketts. 432 on the oopsie swing this season. <laughs> Wesley doesn't get the call against Brown and it's a leadoff walk in the fourth. Rio misses, back to back walks here in the fourth inning with nobody out. It's the second time she started an inning with a <laughs> Oh, one, bunt laid down, Wesley going to first. Sacrifice executed to perfection for Mia Williams to move two runners into scoring position. <laughs> Top of the order, Kendra Falby, 0 for 2 on the night. Slaps this one right side. And she is safe at first, runners hold, but it's gonna be bases loaded for one of the most dangerous hitters in the, of the top four arms that returned from last season. Oh, and she got Wallace on the arm, second time she's hit her today, and that one brings a run across. Pitch coming from Wesley. And that misses. 
So a hit by pitch of Wallace brings one in, and now Otis walks a run in. The data you have on pitchers, this is one that you really don't have a ton on. 0-2 from Everett. Got her swinging. How about that from the freshman? The glove feels like it's really fast. Five straight fouls. Walsh has only struck out four times all season. This is hit hard into deep center field, and it's down at the wall. Florida will take the lead. Two runs come across. Advantage, Walsh. Man, you hurt for the freshman here. She battles deep into this count. This is a pitch that is left too sweet over the strike zone against Walsh, a 12 home run athlete. Almost 400 with runners in scoring position. There's a run down at third base and they get the runner at home for out number three. Within the rule book that can be looked at, here's the look at the plate. Got to be access to the base path. Again, throw coming in for the tag. A hard look there. Here's a better vantage point. Is there access to home plate? And on the throw and the tag, they're going to rule it as a stolen base at home and the run scores. Good call, partner. Had it in the break, too. Florida still with a runner on second base for Kistler. Swings through it, and that will end the inning. Interesting change to the game this year. High in the air, Jesse Blaine pops this one up in foul territory where Wallace is there for out number one. That's been a, a specific strategy. I, first time I saw it was early in the year. 56 pitches for Rothrock so far. And three and a third. In the center field, and Kendra Falby is all over it for the second out. Full count from Rothrock. This is hit hard into left field right along the line and caught out there by Corby Otis. Back to work for Keegan Rothrock. They lost four arms from last season. Reese Burline, who threw their second most innings pitched, is now at Arkansas, and Brown swings through it. Strikeout number two. 2-2 two -two for Everett. Swings through it. Strikeout number four for the freshman now. Just recovering from a long weekend, especially in conference play. 2-2, two -two, lofted into deep center field, caught out there by Sierra Sacco. Nicely done for the first. 3-0. That misses ball four, leadoff walk from the freshman pitcher to Salem Hawkins and told him about Chelsea Dobbins. And the way she works and that she does a little bit of everything, said she's a head coach type. Tim Walton liked that. Yeah, and he said an extension of you, not afraid to chirp, not afraid to call somebody out. Too fast to get two there, but they get the lead runner Hawkins at second base. There's two outs. That's gotta be Shelby Penley. This gets through the left side, through that 5-6 hole, and it's first and second with two outs. It's C ball, hit ball. It's that it gets away, and the runners will advance to second and th Who will win? Another 3-2. Kennedy drives this into left field. It's down in fair territory. And two runs will score. Kennedy slides in safely to second. Hate to draw it all the way back to the first batter of the inning, but the leadoff walk, the percentage of those leadoff walks that come around to score, it is so, so tough when you're missing a pitch. This is about that time where I start to look at my notes of the arms that Florida has in the arsenal. Wallace takes care of it for out number three. Chopper on the infield, and it'll be tough to get Falby. It's not even close. An infield single for her, second of the day. 
these in, which is nice to see. Yeah, first got to coach her with the junior women's national team as she ropes this one into center field. And it's back-to-back -back singles for... You know what it's like to manage it as a coach. Wow. This is driven into right field. It gets down, and it's going to the wall. One run will score. Wallace coming around. And Otis into third. Two more come through for the Gators. And Paige Cook just continuing to get challenged in right field. You got to know this ball is down and you got to put your body in front of it. If it gets by you, you're giving up a run. At least a run. Here, two in her case. This year, to find a way to squeak one out. It might stay in play at will and it's caught by Barbary for out number one. Mississippi State, that dramatic upset of Florida State in Tallahassee as the Gators deliver another run across, and Reagan Walsh has three RBIs on the night. Right now. No one. This is crushed. Are you kidding me? Hand looks just <laughs> fine for Bailey Goddard. Wow. She told Tim Walton she was good. So much grid. When you get the opportunity, you take advantage. What a tough fight for Goddard. Hit in the hand, steps back in the box, and says, see you later. Thanks for the nod, coach. Back-to-back -back SEC series for Bailey Goddard hitting a pinch hit home. 62 games between the 20 and 21 seasons. Been around a long time for the Gators. It'd be a crucial part of this team as the season rolls on. Those Kowalewski swings through it, and that will do it for the sixth inning. The Gators strike big. 3-2. Hitting a deep right field. That hits on the warning track. And extra bases here for Blaine. She has a leadoff double in the sixth. Home of a win you were. Like, how did you break it down to try and get back in? As this gets into left field, it's back-to-back -back base hits now for Mississippi State. Now there's trouble on the base pass. Bulldogs have one come across. talked about that the highs and lows of this game can't let it get to you as she hits this one deep into center field Falby makes the play and that'll be a sacrifice fly for the freshman Edwards another run comes across 2-2 high chopper gonna be tough oh and Wallace and Kowalewski kind of collide there their feet get tangled up a little bit opportunities big situations Round ball down the third base side, fair ball. Sosa comes through with a double. Mississippi State, they just won't go away right now. Still challenging this defense. This is a base hit, does not touch the glove of Kowalewski at third base, down the line, and Mississippi State Rips it up the middle. First pitch swinging. The runner holds it third. Man, how important are those insurance runs now for Florida? 
a lot of energy, a lot of momentum. Chucky, we've been talking about momentum. The two hole, Nadia Barbary. This gets away, and a run will come in on the first pitch from Brown. You want to step in the circle and command. We saw Everett do that when she stepped in. The lefty freshman for Mississippi State. Swinging into right field. Another run comes around for Mississippi State, and they have cut this to a one-run lead. Get the first W, and then we worry about tomorrow. I think there's a lot to that. You want to get that first win. Got her big-time pitch right there from Ava Brown. These <laughs> two and the 23 runs scored. 0-1, hit well to deep center field. It is gone. Paige Cook, a two-run shot. And would you look at that? Seven runs in the sixth inning for Mississippi State, and she pounds on home plate. How can you not get romantic about this game? I've got goosebumps watching this senior, the leader, the vocal leader, and the power at the plate when your team needs it the most. Dead center. Man, she got all of that ball. This is hit hard to third base. That bounces off Kowalewski. Another two out runner. You would think they would make a change going to the seventh. We'll see. If we get to the seventh, another base hit through the left side. What results as a freshman? How can you compartmentalize that and move on to the next game? Brownlee into right field. It's ran down by Kistler. And finally, out number three. You see the late breakdown for the called strike. Got her. Out number one for Marin. It's this high into right field, shallow, and it's ran down by Paige Cook. There's two outs now. Mississippi State, one out away from a ridiculous comeback. He player of the year. You're not bigger than the game. There it is, ball four. They've got their base runner and speedster and Wallace at first base with Corby Otis coming to the plate. One, two. Got her swinging. Mississippi State. Plate seven in the sixth and Josie Marin slams the door on the Gators. Josie Marin steps in the circle and takes control of this ball game for her team. What an outing for Mississippi State. What a comeback for this team. We knew we were going to see this between these two teams, an offensive showdown. I don't know about you, but I know what I'll be doing the rest of this weekend. It'll be